friends, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be picking my books for the month of February. I'm going to be doing my TBR jar and I'm going to be selecting five books this month. For the month of January, I selected five books and I only read three. Unfortunately, I think I'm in a bit of a reading slump. I just can't get into anything. I The, the three books that I read, I really enjoyed two and then one was a little on the boring side for me, just kind of eh. Couldn't really get into it very much, I don't know why. But I'm really hoping that I am starting to get out of the slump and that I read and that I pick a really awesome book. I'm really, really, really hoping for a five-star read this month. All right, so here's prompt number one. This is one word title. All right, one word title. So we could do legendary. Serafina, Powerless, let's see, let's see, um, we could do several Jane Austen books, I have Emma, I pulled that last month but didn't get to read it, and Persuasion, so we could do those, we have Changeling, mm, I kind of want to continue the carnival series but i really want to read powerless this is really popular right now and i really want to read it i'm super excited so this is powerless by lauren roberts and this is a young at all i think fantasy romance the insert sleeve says the elites have possessed powers for decades gifted to them by the plague while those born ordinary are just that banished from the kingdom of Ilya and shunned from society. No one knows this better than Paid and Gray, an ordinary posing as a psychic to blend in with the elites. But when she unwittingly saves one of Ilya's princes, Kai Azar, she's thrown into the purging trials, a brutal competition showcasing the elites' powers. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting feelings for will if he discovers what Paid and is, completely ordinary. So this is kind of giving me Hunger Game vibes just a little bit, but I've heard it's very good, really romantic, has a good romance, and yeah, I'm super excited about this one. All right, on to prompt number two. A book about siblings. All right, book about siblings. We have a few options here. However, I do think, here we go, this is perfect. I do want to continue on with the Carnival series. So this is Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is a young adult fantasy. And the first book in the series is called Carnival. So yes, this has two sisters, Scarlet and, I cannot remember, Tella, oh my goodness. I think it's short for Donatella. So yes, this is my second prompt. Here we go, a book about siblings. All right, prompt number three, here we go. A book set in a small town. Okay, I this is actually perfect because I have an idea of what I want. I'm trying to think. I mean, I could totally do Jane Austen, which I feel like for February, I kind of have to do a Jane Austen. But I'm kind of leaning towards When in Rome by Sarah Adams. And this is Rome, Kentucky. Okay, yes, I'm going to go with When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is an adult rom-com. And it's been on my TBR for quite a while, and I'm ready to read it. Here we go. Here we go for prompt number four. This is a book by an author who is no longer living. So that would be a good Jane Austen pick. Yeah, let's do that. I really feel I need to do Jane Austen for February. This is a massive book. This is all of her books in, okay, excuse me for technical difficulties here. All of her books in one big thick book. So I, Mm. I kind of still want to read Emma. I pulled Emma last month. I picked Emma last month and I just didn't get to it. So I kind of want to do Emma. So we're going to go with Emma by Jane Austen. Last but not least, prompt number five. Oops, 
I have like a ton falling out here. <laughs> Pink on the cover. This is perfect. All right. I already know what I want. I could go with Practice Makes Perfect, but I already pulled a Sarah Adams book and I really, really want Dungeons and Drama. So this is Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boyce. And I don't know a lot about this book other than that there's fake dating. He's really into, I don't know his name, but he is really into, okay, Nathan is really into uh, video games and games, board games. He loves Dungeons and Dragons, right? And then our female main character, let's see here, Riley. She loves acting and musical theater. So I can't remember exactly what happens, but she has to go to work at her dad's um, gaming shop and he works there and it's like forced proximity and they clash at first. And then of course their feelings start to come out and they're very drawn to each other. So I don't really, that's about all that I know about it. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks really fun and it's a romance and I just really like the, the gaming aspect and that's just really cool and really cute. So yes, that's my fifth pick. Very excited for this month's picks. Actually, we have one, two fantasies, two rom-coms, and a classic, which is technically a romance. So three romances and two fantasies. Yay, I'm so excited. So I'm hoping one of these gets me out of my slump. I'm really, I'm not gonna lie, like I have high expectations going to this into this one. So I don't know. Maybe I should clear my brain and just go into it with a blank slate and just see what it has to offer. So yes, those are my picks for the month of February. Thank you so much for joining in with me. And if you liked this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much and have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.